what I mean to say is that lineage works not as, as most of the people think. It's that those who are with you, those who are connected to you, those who love you, those who do not need anything from you, still love you. These are the real relatives. The best way to take care of our lineage is to take care of our the, of the people available in the family because they are all connected to the lineage. So mainly our elders, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, uncles, look after them, love them, respect them. See, one thing I'll tell you, respect and gratitude are great cleansers. I repeat, respect and gratitude are great cleansers. It wipes away a lot of things. If you simply practice respect and gratitude, you will feel much, much cleaner in your daily life and also you will experience grace flowing into you in every hour, every time. There is no, no, no substitute for respect and gratitude. There is no substitute. Whatever you practice, whatever you do, if these ingredients are not there, it's, it's a uh, tough journey. It's a tough journey. So respect, gratitude, if you put this in front, like uh, two horses which drives the cart, 80% the lineage will be happy and your activities will be of that nature like selfless activity, supporting the helpless, living a life of pure intentions, then the lineage becomes very happy. And the next generation, if it, even if it's not happening, imagine some people are adopted to the family. If somebody is coming to your family, that also says the, the lineage connection. It need not be blood relations. It's not blood relations. Don't think that only blood relations can come to your family. Lineage does not operate that way. Whoever is coming, even your cat and the dog in the family are connected to lineage because there is this in this flow of life, anybody can come in any form, in any relationship, any, any, any level. So even if you are adopting somebody to your family, they also fall into the lineage, even if they are born in another family. You, do you get me what I'm saying? Why did they come to your family? Because the lineage permitted it. Otherwise you won't come. The lineage accepted it, especially they are inheriting the property, the wealth, the knowledge, the foundation. That means they are accepted into the lineage. They will have their own responsibility to the parents or the lineage they came from. But if they are coming into one family, so having own children, of course, yes, it helps. But having children at all or the next generation and the continued generation, like for example, for me, I look at all the people who are deeply connected to me unconditionally as my family members. So I'll, I'll tell you an example. A um, few years ago, I decided to do a particular homa for the welfare of all the people who are connected to me. And the pre I asked the priest how much time. He's a very, very senior man, uh, completely unselfish. And he knows what I do in the world. And he said, Okay, we will strengthen and support all the people in the, in the, I do this, I mean, actually, we, we try to help all the people who are deeply connected to me as part of the family. So he was doing it and then there is a method in the South where they check using the shells whether the, the deities whom you are offering has accepted it. And so it was Lord Shiva. Uh, Offered, not accepted. Offered, not accepted. Three hours they took, but not accepting. So then they said, okay, uh, there is something wrong. They had drawn the image. The, uh, the, they, there is a particular structure they draw for the circuit to, to accept. That was not working. So he removed the whole thing. He said, I, I don't understand why it's not happening. Then he changed from followers to family, Mohanji and all the people who love Mohanji and their families made it very simple. Means it's like one family. Those who really love you, they are part of family. Means it's a larger extended family. Does not matter which country are they from. The moment they, then he made an egg shape, like a Shivalinga. 
and said Mohanji and the uh, and all the people who love Mohanji and their families. So it's like a pyramid inside. It started accepting. Then in an hour and a half or two hours, the whole thing was finished. Went perfectly well. So what it says, even the flower was put, it was falling right there. Otherwise, the flower was pulling on the other side. It was falling on the other side. So this is the this is a clear sign how the lineage works. When somebody really loves you and somebody really accepts you and connects to you, they become part of you. This is how the structure works. It's not about your blood relations. Unfortunately, our society works only on that limited level. Me and my blood relations. You know, inheritance, this is all fine. I mean, for the sake of sanctity of inheritance, it's okay. But a real inheritance is not that. It may not be even connected to you. Those who are standing by you, those who are walking with you, those who do not judge you, those who support you unconditionally, they are your relatives. They are, and they may change also time to time. But these are the people whom you should consider as your own. Those who constantly judge you, those who do not allow you your walking space, those who hate you or, or criticize you, gossip about you, they are not your relatives. There's no, there's no frequency connection there. So, and also there is ignorance in the middle. There's ignorance. When, when you have to, to talk bad about somebody, that's complete ignorance. Lack of awareness of karma. Let it be. So, what I mean to say is that lineage works not as, as most of the people think. It's that those who are with you, those who are connected to you, those who love you, those who do not need anything from you, still love you. These are the real relatives. These are the real relatives. And it's easy to understand. You know, but we only look at my son, my daughter, my donkey. This my, my, my. This is the way we operate, right? And we don't get it. We don't understand. We don't understand. So this is the thing. Like, likewise, I, I always tell the, the fishes in the water, the beings in the water, beings in the sky, beings on earth, apart from human beings, human beings also, they are good people. But all these beings are equally connected to you. There is water element in your body. You can't deny it. There is air and space in your body. You cannot deny it. And there are beings who are operating in that plane. So if you serve them, you are serving yourself, your, what, your elements aspect. When you do Homa, you are activating or awakening your your fire energy within. When you are giving food to beings of water, you are activating the water and cleansing it, purifying it. Your blood and all the water element in you. Like that, we can have a clean existence by being simply aware. Simply aware. It's uncomplicated. And so many blockages gets removed. Much more than you do elaborate pujas. You know? So many blockages gets cleansed this way. And there are so many examples. So many people have felt great after doing all these things. So many examples. Thank you.